and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna to be playing with one of my favorite brands, Chantecai. We're gonna talk about the new collection, we're gonna do lots and lots of comparisons, and we're gonna do a little bit of talking about what's coming from Chantecai. If you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody. So as I said, today we're gonna to be using the new Chantecai collection, the giraffe collection. I have lots of comparisons to do. I have a lot of Chantecai in my collection. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while and you've seen the lives that I've done with Chantecai's Scott Medwatts, I love Chantecai. I've been using them literally for more than 10 years. Um, absolutely love pretty much everything they have, skincare and makeup. And so we're gonna talk about the giraffe collection today and we're gonna use it. I'm also gonna talk a little bit about what's coming. There's not a lot that I can talk, I can't really give you a lot of details, but I can tell you a couple of things. Um, and let's also mention the lipsticks that are out now. So the iQuad is the giraffe iQuad, which I'm gonna swatch and do, you know, use today. I'll show you what that looks like. Now the lips, there are actually three lipsticks that were lip chics that were launched. Um, Yes, okay, I'm just checking the dates on things. So we've got the Lip Chic in Jasmine and the Lip Chic in Freesia, which are already out. You can pre-order the Willow, but likely the lip is not gonna come out until early March. It might be before that, but at least from what I understand so far, early March. The blush should be here sooner than the Willow lip chic, if, if that holds to what we knew from before. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, guys. All, you know, all kinds of things. So um, you can pre-order the blush. I will show you the powder that I have, which is in the same container. Uh, I, I have Candlelight. I actually really like the powder. I don't love that container. Um, and I'll show you why, but we'll get into that in a minute. So let me pull my hair back so you can see all this better. I have, if you haven't watched my channel before, I have a lot of hair and uh, gets in the way. So what I have on my face right now is the Chantecai Future Skin Foundation, one of my favorite foundations in Aura. I have on Goer Bronzer. Uh, I use a very light touch with it because I'm very pale. The Pearl Lumiere um, Highlighter, one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And the Cheek Shade, the Flower Power Cheek Shade, uh, this was the one that came out before the one with the pearls. The pearl one is a little bit more peachy. This one's a little bit more pink. Absolutely love them both. That's all that's on my face right now. So let's talk about the Giraffe Collection. There comes with it a little, um, little book <laughs> talking about the collection. If you're not aware, Chantecaille does a lot of work with various rescues. This is the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Uh, works in 16 African countries, impacting more than 100 million acres of giraffe habitat. Wow, that's a lot. Um, only 117,000 giraffes remain in Africa. Wow, of the four known species of giraffes, three are in serious trouble. So, um, you know, certain proceeds of the sale of this collection goes to that foundation. The packaging, I love. I, I, I really like the way that Shanghai does things. Um, I just think it's classy understated, elegant, it, it just fits with my aesthetic. This is the color story that's in this one, definitely neutrals. And then of course you saw the giraffe on the front. Of these types of quartets, I have hummingbird, I have the butterfly, upside down, <laughs> and then I have the um, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder, which is not uh, an eye quartet, but it came with this type of packaging. So um, these quartets, the Butterfly and the Hummingbird, usually have a um, multi-dimensional shade in there. So a duochrome or something like that. They are usually, at least from the Hummingbird and the, and the Butterfly, like different types of, of formulations in the set. So like one's a shimmer, one's a duochrome, one's a matte, etc. And this one seems to be the same. It says four flattering earth tone neutrals that mix and match to create rich defined eye looks. Giraffes across Africa are quietly vanishing. We are proud to help give them a voice and a future with the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Um, and then it has the four you know shades in here. Um, it doesn't say specifically, it says shade one, shade two, shade three, and shade four. But looking at them, I think you can see that 
there is definitely some shimmer to that ends to this, and this looks like maybe a, a satin, and this looks like a matte, which is similar to what they've done in the other quartets that are packaged this way. As you can see with the butterfly one, this is the duochrome and the, the butterfly one. It's really pretty. It's got like this green slash purple. It's really nice. Um, and then with the hummingbird, I'll just show you. There's this grayish blue shade in there that has the, the duochrome. All right. I want to mention that Chantecaille also has um, single luminescent shades and then duo cases as well. Um, what I'm going to do is after we swatch this, I'll take a look and see whether any of the luminescent eye shades or any of the duos look similar. Um, I think there'll be a couple, but we'll get to that. So let's go ahead and swatch this first. And don't worry, we're going to do the uh, lip cheeks as well. I've got lots of lip cheeks in my collection, so we can see if there's any that are similar shades. Those are the four shades. This is a matte, this is a satin. This looks like a topper, and this does seem to have some shift to it. It has like a little bit of blue and a little bit of like pinky purple and then tan. You can kind of see that. I think these are gonna be some of my favorites from Chantecaille because I love a good neutral. If you haven't watched my channel before, these are just, you know, right up my alley. So let's just take a look at the luminescent eye shades. Let's look at, um, Let's look at the Leopard. If you haven't seen the Luminescent eye shades before, they come in these single packaging. They have gorgeous packaging, just like everything else from Chantecaille. Um, this is a brownish shade. Has more of a, a satin feel and look than many of the other Luminescent eye shades that have more glitter to them. So that right there is the Leopard. Leopard looks similar to this shade the satin that's in this one, very similar to me, I would say, between this and the leopard. So if you like the leopard, that's gonna be a similar one. Let's look at the giraffe, which is a luminescent eye shade sim uh, single. And the packaging is a little bit different. This, um, this giraffe is running, the one on the eye quad is the giraffe standing. That's that shade. And I will, it is a deeper and I would say more shimmery, luminescent, more like the luminescence, but I think it goes beautifully with the rest of the shades in here. So it goes beautifully with these four in the new giraffe collection. I think you could absolutely add this to, for emphasis. Um, and it looks a little bit like, or a lot like the leopard. Then we have the lion, and there's the lion. Okay, let's try the lion. Lion has more like goldy coppery shades, but again, I still think makes, you know, I think all of these will work well together. Um, it's Chantecaille, I think all of the, of the products work well together, but you know, I think these are all the neutrals. This is a cheetah. Um, let's put that. Cheetah is lighter in shade. There we go. So of all of these with the luminescent and the giraffe, I would say that the leopard, which is this one right here, looks very similar to the um, satin shade in the giraffe eye quad. I think the giraffe has a similar um, shade to it, but it has more luminescence and it's deeper. Now, if I look at the duos, the duos are pretty sparkly shades. Like these are pretty shimmery. This is Tibet, which is one of my favorites. Uh, it's kind of like a gray. If you, I think they were just restocked. I'll make sure there's a link below. Um, these are pr actually probably my favorites of Shantikai. Um, so you should take a look at these because they really are quite beautiful. I don't think there's a earth-toned neutral though. Monte Carlo, no, those are all pink. 
Um, the, they're pink and gray. I really don't think they look like this, but um, I don't think they're earth toned at all. But like from Tibet, I'll just show you one of the shades from Tibet because it's kind of similar. And that's one of the shades from Tibet. It has, you know, a little bit, but you can see it's, it's cooler leaning. And let's see, in any of, in the, in the hummingbird or the butterfly, let's try, well, that's definitely more like peachy. This one, similar to the, the map that's in the giraffe, but it's more, I don't know, it's, it's, this one's a little cooler. That's these two shades in the Hummingbird. And I have the warm Hummingbird. I don't have the cool Hummingbird. I should have picked it up when I had a chance, but I didn't. Um, and the Butterfly, eh, I don't really think there's any shade in the Butterfly, but let's just let's try it over here. Maybe that one. Like I said, it's similar, but this has more of like almost a mushroom, whereas these are, you know, not, not quite. But those are all the earthy toned shades that I have. Um, let me try, let's try this one from the butterfly. No, it's much, much deeper. I mean, it's similar, like similar tone. You can see like these could all go together. <laughs> they all, you know, have that neutral earthy tone kind of look, but this is the giraffe right here, these four. Hopefully that's helpful to give you an idea of what else is out there with Chantecai. Okay, so let's do an eye look with a new quad. Brought you in a little bit closer so you can see the eye look better. Let's take the matte shade. We'll do that as a transition. Creamy, goes on really easily. Not a lot of fallout. I think that's a good, truly neutral brown. Not too warm, not too cool. All right, let's take the um, topper shade, use that in the brow area. This is just a really light, sparkly white shade. As you saw on my swatch. Excellent for a highlighting shade, whatever you want to use it for, whether brow or inner corner. In fact, I'll use it for that. Or just to lighten up the look overall. Like if you wanted to put this shade all over the eyelid, I think that would really brighten that up like as a topper over it or actually by itself. I think it would definitely be sheerer if you'd use it that way, but I think it would work. Um, let's take what I think is a duochrome shade, put it all in the lid. It might just be, you know, a shimmery shade. Let's put it on the eye and really get a look at it. Oh, it's very pretty. It reminds me a little of the um, shade that is in the new Tom Ford Rose Quartz that looks wet on the eye. That's what this looks like. Very pretty. Very sparkly and wet looking. I don't even know if the camera can really capture uh, how beautiful that is as a shade. In fact, when you put it on your hand, it doesn't really do it justice. It's, it's really quite pretty. I will try it with my finger at the end. All right, let's um, do a little bit of inner corner. Let's take that white shade. Yeah, these remind me a little bit of the luminescent eye shades. This white and the, what I think could be a duochrome. They're very shimmery, very luminescent, Re really nice. They have a little bit more um, shimmer to them than maybe some of the other um, shades that, we're gonna use this satin that um, Chantecai usually does. I really like it. This is really beautiful. And this does remind me a little bit of the Tom Ford Rose Quartz in the look that I'm getting. It's really interesting that 
that would happen, I mean, just timing wise, you know, I've seen that before where brands, not because of any collusion or anything, it's just, you know, trends tend to happen that way. Like there'll be like, you know, a season of reds uh, in shadow or a season of pinks or all of a sudden a, a certain combination of shades will become kind of the popular thing. And I have to say, I have seen a little bit of these earth toned neutrals um, popular lately. And I don't know, I don't know what that's about, but kind of interesting. Although I will say, you know, earth tone neutrals are always popular, but this particular combination here does remind me a little bit of rose quartz. Um, is it rose quartz? Rose topaz, sorry. Rose quartz is one from a long time ago, but this does look a little bit like the Rose Topaz from um, Tom Ford. Very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna take that, what I think is a duochrome shade, or just a really beautiful shimmer, and I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, you get a more, wow, this definitely reminds me of the Tom Ford in the way that this looks. This shade is eerily reminiscent of that shade in the Tom Ford quad. In fact, I'm gonna pull it out so we can take a look at it. Look how that looks on the eye. My hats are off to Shantikai. This is stunning. All right, let's take that satin shade. I'm gonna use it as liner. Underneath. Shantikai has beautiful, beautiful liners. Um, and I'm not gonna pull them out today, but cause I'm just gonna use this quad but I will tell you that there's a bunch of shades that would look really nice with this. And as I play with it more, I'll definitely do a look using one of the many Chantecaille pencil liners that I have, but look at that, look at that. All right, let me clean up around the eyes a little bit because there's a little fallout. Um, and then I will pull out the Tom Ford uh, Rose Topaz so you can see the shade I'm talking about if you haven't seen that video. Uh, and then we'll move to lips. Okay, mascara is on absolutely love, 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 love this look. Let me just show you really quickly though, the shade from the Tom Ford Rose Topaz. And let's compare it to the Chantecaille. Huh, interesting. The one from Chantecaille is more duochrome-y. <laughs> um, but those are the two shades. There's the one from the Tom Ford Rose Topaz, and there's the one from Chantecaille. Interesting, don't you think? They are similar. This one from Chantecaille though has more shimmer and more like coolness and like a little bit of like pink purple, where the one from Tom Ford is a little warmer leaning, but there is similarity. And on the eye, you do get a similar effect. Probably one of my favorite shades from Chantecaille. I know a lot of people were like, oh, it's kind of not boring, but you know, well, yeah, boring. I think I did hear boring. This is certainly not boring by any means. All right, so let's take a look at the new shades of lip. Now, like I said, Willow is still uh, not available. My understanding, at least from what I heard from a while back, was that it was probably March. Uh, if it comes before that, that's awesome. But that's what I heard. We'll see. Um, yeah, um, they're all they're all beautiful. All of these shades. I love the ship, the lip chic formula. If you're not familiar with them, I'll talk a little bit about what they're like. All right. So the packaging, the way the packaging looks for the lip chics um, usually has some type of really cool shade color: green, lavender, <laughs> multi-chrome. Um, and they are magnetic and sort of a rounded off square. They're really, really beautiful. And I have a lot of uh, lip cheeks. I'm gonna show you all the shades that I have in comparison to the two new ones. And like I said, we don't have Willow yet. Um, so let's try, comes in this type of packaging. You've got the giraffe on top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's start with Jasmine.
Jasmine is the warmer of the two. I would describe it as kind of a peachy shade. Then we've got Freesia. Definitely more of that pink. All right, let's do some comparisons. Honeysuckle, one of my favorite shades of all time. I didn't pull out the lip veils, guys. These are just the lip cheeks. I have a lot. Um, let's do High Sop, another favorite shade. Let's do Clover. Clover looks mm, a little like Freesia. Freesia and Honeysuckle have a, a lot in common, which is great because it's one of my favorites. Uh, let's see, Latana. That's Latana. Let's do a Damask. Damask definitely has more of that purple. Jarule. More of a pink. Red Juniper, which is going to be much brighter. That Peach Blossom. And then I've got some ones that aren't in the special packaging. Let's just see. This is a Nace, which is like a really peachy tone, similar to Jasmine. Let's see, Patience. Patience is like a good neutral brownie pink. Patience isn't really like any other shade. Patience is a great shade if you're looking for like a real neutral one. Uh, let's see. Sorry Rose. Another favorite. And Tea Rose. It's gonna be more pink. All right, so here's the two new ones, Jasmine and Freesia. Just trying to see, mm, I would say for Jasmine, I'd say the, I think it's, and I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's A-N-A-I-S. I think that is similar. Not exact, but similar. Yeah. They're similar. Jasmine and the Anae, something like that. And then the Freesia and the Honeysuckle, I'd say, are close. Not identical by any means, but I think there's some similarities between the Freesia and the honeysuckle. These are the, yeah, don't you think? I think the rest of them are different. All right, let's go ahead and put the freesia on and see how that looks. Okay, here's the freesia. Beautiful look, very creamy. The lip cheeks are very balmy. They remind me of the Rouge Coco Blooms. They're pigmented, not super pigmented, but enough. Very creamy, really comfortable on the lips. One of my favorite um, formulas of all time, which is why I have all these shades. They just feel really good on the lips. They feel very comfortable. 
you know, you don't have to worry about um, them being like, you don't have to be too careful because there's not a ton of pigment so that, you know, if, if it's a little outside the lines, it's fine. Um, this one's really nice if you like a cooler toned shade. Uh, I don't have too many that are kind of like this on the lips because I think the honeysuckle actually has a little bit more brown to it. This is a little bit more pink. Let's see the way that um, Chantecai describes the shades. Okay, the Freesia they describe as a flattering beige rose. I would say that's that's a good that's a good description. It's rosy. I'd say it's less beige and more rosy on me. Things go cooler on me. The jasmine is a neutral soft peach. Absolutely, that's how I described it as a peach. Um, and the willow is a sophisticated cool pink. So if this is a rose, I'm gonna guess the willow has more like a like a pinkier, like more um almost like Barbie pink, like you know that type of thing, because it's a cool pink. We'll see. We'll see how it ends up looking. Um, but lip cheeks have a hydrating hyaluronic acid for plumper looking lips that feel incredibly soft and nourish. I mean, they, they really do. They, they're great formula. Um, I have as I, I have this many of them because I really do love them. Uh, and I think this one looks really beautiful on. I can't wait to use the um, jasmine as well. Let me take my hair down. We'll talk about final thoughts. I think it's good to to see it with my hair down because you can kind of see the final you know the final look. So I'd say two things. The lip cheeks are lovely. I absolutely love the formula. So ad nauseum, these shades are great shades. They seem a little less pigmented than some of the ones in my collection. Uh, some lip cheeks are actually very pigmented. One that I did not pull out was Cappuccine. This is an incredibly pigmented lip cheek. Uh, if you like, you know, like a very bright um, fuchsia pinky orange. This one's for you. Uh, but there are some lip cheeks that are actually quite pigmented. Uh, these are, I would say, more on the less pigmented side. Same formula, plumping, gorgeous, comfortable, fantastic. Um, the Willow, as I said, my understanding, given what I had heard earlier, is that March was the time frame. Maybe it'll come sooner, and if it does, that's awesome. Um, and I know there's ways to pre-order. I'll put the information down below in um, my description box about where you can order it now uh, from Chantecai and I think pre-order on Neiman's. I'll make sure it's down below. Uh, the blush. The blush is in, let's see, it says uh, HD Radiant Blush, a soft flattering blush with a radiant shimmer in a flow through blush, uh, brush, sorry. It's, it's called Hope, the shade, and it's in a glowy nude pink which sounds awesome and I'm very excited to try it. The container looks to be similar to the container that I have here, which is for their loose powder. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it looks exactly the same. This is a travel container. I believe it's candlelight, yes, candlelight. And basically what you do is you pump this like this and you get the powder in the brush from the container that's up here or down here, depending on how you're holding it. Um, and then it flows into the brush, and then you just take the brush, put it on your face, and you have a uh, powder. And I will say two things. This powder is actually one of my favorite powders from Chantecai. I love the candlelight shade. It's like this, well, it's candlelight. It's gorgeous. Um, it gives like this beautiful glow. Um, I really, really like it. My issue with this, flow pump thing is it doesn't always work. Like I feel like the powder doesn't actually get through and sometimes like I'll go to like powder and the powder just is there everywhere and sometimes it's not. Now maybe it's because I'm storing it wrong. There's, there could be lots of user error. I'm not saying it's Chantecai's fault but I don't know if I totally love this. I do love it for travel because it's not going to spill everywhere if you have loose powder with you. So that part I do like. Um, so it's just not, I don't know, I, I think it works, I think it works 80% of the time and it's fantastic and then sometimes it just it doesn't seem to have powder in the brush. Um, again, that could be me. <laughs> could be user error, I could be doing it wrong, who the heck knows. Um, but I will say the way that it looks on the skin 
the way the powder comes out and the, the finish it gives is beautiful because it's very diffused. So I think this blush is gonna be stunning, especially since it says it has a radiant shimmer um, and it's a hope, it's a glowy nude pink. I think that's gonna be gorgeous. Um, and I cannot wait to try it out. I would also like to say there are some other things coming from Chantecai that I can't talk about, but um, I'm really excited about this year for Chantecai and the things that are coming. Um, I can't wait to try them. I can't wait to you know talk about them with all of you. And um, you know, I know that we've heard obviously that Chantecai was bought. Um, hopefully that doesn't change Chantecai. I love Chantecai, I love their products, I love their people. Um, so I'm, you know, keeping my fingers crossed that uh, things continue the way they are. In the meantime though, absolutely love this collection. The eyeshadow quad is stunning, stunning. I cannot wait to play around with it some more. I think it's stunningly beautiful. I showed you the comparison shades, the neutral shades that I have in Chantecai. Does remind me a little bit of the Rose Topaz from Tom Ford, which I think is interesting. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to play around with some more and try different looks, but as it is, I mean, I just, I'm really impressed with what they came up with. It's just a beautiful look, so. And the lip cheeks, you know, perfect, perfect. So, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in another video really soon.